Have you heard? California is paving the way for a change in Washington. California? I was surprised to hear that the new administration's role model for America is California. California is likely to play a pivotal role in changing the way Americans live. But wait, California is a really bad place for poor people. California has the second highest poverty rate in the nation. And people are moving out of California. 170,000 leave every year. California is about to lose a congressional seat. Kristen Tate reports on why people flee. Exorbitant tax rates, the, the high crime rates, the failing public school systems, the exorbitant costs of living. Plus rules that make even affordable housing expensive. The high cost of housing is pushing more and more people to move out of the state. So many people are leaving now that there's a shortage of U-Hauls. It costs over $5,000 to U-Haul from Los Angeles to Houston, but much less to go back. People are just emptying out of California. Which is crazy because California is so beautiful. It's got mountains and beaches and great weather. So how do California's politicians explain Californians leaving? Governor Gavin Newsom's office sent us this statement. Before the COVID pandemic, California saw job growth and record low unemployment. Really? Oh, it's a record for California. But California's unemployment rate was then the 12th and is now the third worst in America. The governor's office statement goes on to say, We remain the fifth largest economy in the world, home to 20 of Fortune's fastest growing companies. But that just means California grew companies once. Look at the trend now. HP Enterprises, Oracle, Tesla are moving large portions of their operations now to Texas. Every week, businesses leave California. So many that the governor of Texas narrates commercials about it. They come to Texas because we keep taxes low and regulations reasonable. A good thing about America having 50 states is that we get to experiment with different policies. If states fail, we learn from that. So it's strange to see politicians saying they want to make the whole country like California. Why would the rest of America want California's problems? Dire homeless crisis. Hundreds of thousands of workers struggling for benefits. Lots of Californians are out of work, partly because the state passed a $15 minimum wage. Already it's been a huge job killer. Because many businesses replace jobs with machines. Who gets hurt by that? Low-skilled workers who really need the jobs. If the higher minimum goes national, the Congressional Budget Office says employment will be reduced by 1.4 million workers. But President Biden still says... It's time to raise the minimum wage. Biden's plan for America also includes a new version of cash for clunkers. Let's destroy some cars. California already encourages destroying old cars with a law that pays people thousands of dollars to do that. Most of the cars that were turned in were not even actively registered anymore, which means they probably were just going to be scrapped anyway. These programs are our failures across the board, but they make environmentalists feel good. So do California's clean energy rules that raise the price of gas. How long until all of us pay that $7 a gallon that people already pay in Norway and Denmark? Your next vice president of the United States, Kamala Harris. Biden's picked lots of Californians for his administration. His vice president was asked on this radio show. Have you ever smoked? I have. Okay. Like and I, and I inhale. I did inhale. I did inhale. inhale. I did inhale. inhale. Okay. <laughs> she laughs big, but as DA, she oversaw more than 1,900 convictions for pot offenses. Unfortunately, there's been a trend in the Biden administration of giving jobs to people who might check boxes. I pick a woman to be vice president. But they all have horrendous track records. As Secretary for Homeland Security, I nominate Alejandro Mayorkas. But the new Homeland Security boss has a record of corruption. Mayorkas was cited by the inspector general for having pressured staff to approve visas for politically powerful Democrats. He got caught and he gets promoted. In government, you always fail up. Sometimes way up. Even the left-leaning LA Times wrote that Biden wouldn't nominate California Labor Secretary Julie Sue because rampant levels of fraud scuttled her prospects. 
But Biden then did make her part of his administration. If we make America California, we're all going to be paying for it. Sadly, it does look like Biden's Californians will decide the future of America for a very, very long time.